We're learning new details on the Border Patrol horse unit that was photographed last week while preventing migrants from crossing into the United States. According to senior Department of Homeland Security officials, the mounted team arrived at the border hours before the photos were taken, and they were under orders not to let anyone cross. Fox News has also learned that the Department of Justice sent a team of investigators to Del Rio on Sunday to determine if the horse patrol agents violated the migrants' civil rights. Meantime, an Associated Press reporter posted new video that very clearly shows a Border Patrol agent on horseback grabbing a migrant shirt but not whipping him. As of Friday, neither President Biden nor Vice President Harris had spoken to the chief of Border Patrol to find out what happened. Imagine that. But that didn't stop them or other prominent Democrats from concluding what the border agents did was wrong. Listen to this. People treat it like they did. Horses really running them over, people being strapped. It's outrageous. I promise you, those people will pay. It also evoked images of some of the worst moments of our history, where that kind of behavior has been used against the indigenous people of our country, has been used against African Americans during times of slavery. The investigation into what occurred has not yet concluded. We know that those images painfully conjured up the worst elements of our nation's ongoing battle against systemic racism. It is unconscionable, and I meant it was bad, and it shocked me. I expected uh, our administration to know better than to have horses chasing down black people. All shameful lies, Jason. The photographer who took the picture saying, I did not see anyone whip anyone else, a Border Patrol agent on background telling the Daily Mail uh, they've never seen this happen. So why are Democrats running with this vicious lie when it's contrary to the truth? I, I don't know why they're running with a lie. They, they seem to inject racism wherever they can to think that they can uh, just push their way through this. But those were Border Patrol agents doing their job. And I tell you, that Mounted Patrol, mm -hmm. uh, we need more of them. They were actually pretty effective in terms of the number of agents versus what they were up against. These people were trying to run past them, and they were trying to shut down the border as they were ordered to, ordered to do. And hats off to them. I, I think we need more of them. Yeah, Kennedy, the White House seems to have totally politicized this and put some pressure on the Department of Homeland Security. Because I remember in the direct aftermath of this, Mayorkas saying he saw nothing untoward, Kennedy. All of a sudden, Jen Psaki takes the podium, says she's horrified. His language changes. Do you think there's some White House pressure involved in this? Yeah, there's pressure and propaganda. And uh, the president's numbers on immigration have dropped uh, 12 points just over the last month. And that's among Democrats. Uh, a majority of people think that, that he's doing, a, a vast majority think that he's, he's doing a, a poor job on immigration. And because of that, because of the number of people who are suffering and, you know, untold numbers dying trying to get into the country, uh, crossing the hot desert with no supplies and coyotes who abandon children. Um, yeah, the, the picture has been very grim. They are mired in an immigration war. Uh, they are not winning it. So they're using any visual they possibly can to change the story away from Afghanistan and away Away from their own failures here mm. and uh, it's incredibly dishonest and it also deserves people who are trying to immigrate into this country legally so yeah shame on all of them who are pushing mm. this propaganda no doubt. And the real shameful part of it all, Harris, is the Border Patrol's inability to speak out for themselves. Mm. They just have to take it. One Border Patrol agent telling Fox News, would you go to work and do your best knowing that if you do, your boss is going to, quote, make you pay? He quoted Joe Biden. And the real heartbreaking quote I saw to the Daily Mail was this. Agents spend their own money to buy French fries for crying kids. They help women and children up steep embankments to safety. And the left liberal media continues to spin a narrative of hate and corruption against us yeah uh, hate always has a jump on love when people choose to focus on hate mm. right it's it's just it, it it comes completely with a narrative that's built in for some people and that's what we're looking at here so I just want to know where what our journey has been like that we hate the Border Patrol inside uh, the Beltway 
Um, what, what's happening there at the White House that they feel the president of the United States can be judge and jury and threaten consequences before an investigation is mm -hmm. finished? I'd also like to know what's the relationship between Mayorkas and Biden right now? Because, you know, Kaylee, you mentioned that hours before those pictures were taken, an Associated Press uh, photographer got more of, of what really was going on on the ground. What about days before when Secretary of the DHS, Mayorkas, was there and didn't have a problem with agents on, on horseback? He was asked about these and other things by Jake Tapper yesterday. Let's watch a little bit of that. Can the Border Patrol count on you and President Biden, who has said the people will pay, uh, to come to an, uh, a determination based on the facts and, and not based on Twitter outrage? They sure can. I've worked very closely with the men and women of U.S. Customs and Border Protection for many years, many, many years. And I, they are heroic, what they do. And I saw their heroism displayed in Del Rio, Texas, last Monday when I was there on the ground. The nice words you said about them, you should probably share with President Biden, not just with, uh, not just with me today. That was Dick Chapper <laughs> right then, just dropping that mic on him. And, you know, I, I mean, you can tell the president he says he did. That interview went on. But the president doesn't says what he wants. And right now really? it's corrupting a situation where we need to be brought together on these issues. Because, as Kennedy said, for people who legally want to come and stay here, this is horrible for them to have this kind of breakdown of leadership at the top on this issue. Yeah, and meanwhile, the president of the United States saying people will pay uh, before we know the facts, and the facts appear to be uh, innocuous for Border Patrol.